Hey guys, my name's Brooke. I trained to be a primary school teacher. I then became a volunteer for MIND in June 2020 over the pandemic to help people. And since then, I've just found a huge passion for it and I've decided to carry on. So I now am employed with MIND. I work with MIND doing crisis safe space, which is where we have clients in face to face. And I also have become a time to change champion. I became a time change champion because I have lived experience of mental health, including depression, anxiety and low self-esteem. I've had various counselling therapies um, to help me to get through it, but I joined it because I, I've experienced discrimination quite a lot through my own, my own feelings towards it, so there was times where I have not applied for jobs because I've thought well what about my mental health or and I've actually said to my employee well actually I do have mental health issues just so that you know in case this that and the other and I think it's really interesting that us ourselves discriminate against ourselves and that we question things when really it, sh it shouldn't be a conversation we shouldn't be discriminated against because of mental health and there's so many coping strategies now, there are so many therapies, there's so many counselling services and support groups and so much out there that really it shouldn't be frowned upon, it shouldn't be looked down upon and if we looked at it like a physical illness it would never be questioned. So I think that's my main reason for why I joined. I've had friends who have been told that they can't get certain jobs because of their mental health conditions and that they'd never make it that far. And I think I just, from having all of that, it just gives me a real insight into how unfair this world can still be and still to this day in a world of where equality is more so. Um, so yeah, that's how, why I've joined. I'm looking to do podcasts within it. Um, and getting some interviewing some people to discuss their experiences of discrimination and stigma um, especially around the language that's used um, so if any of you do have any experiences that you'd like to share or you just would like a chat then just drop a message in the comments or message the page directly and I'd love to hear from you all. But yeah, for now, that is me and I look forward to meeting you all soon. Bye.